Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles and back to the World Puzzle Federation series for 2015 Round 5, which is a series of puzzles which were put together for a 90 minute speed solving competition back in 2015. This set was created by Serbian constructors, and this particular puzzle was created by Sedimir Milanovic. Um, and this is a 40 point puzzle. Um, so uh, yeah, out of the 600 points available in the whole pack, this puzzle would have been worth 40 if you submitted the answer. Um, I've gone through, if you look at the early um, puzzles in this set, the first couple, I went through how the points work. So I'm not gonna go through that again. I'm just gonna jump straight into how this puzzle works. Um, in the description below, you will find a link to this puzzle as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation website where you can find all of their archives and all of their information. Let's get on to this puzzle, an extra region Sudoku. So uh, we have normal Sudoku rule supply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then extra regions is each digit appears exactly once in each of the um, shaded and caged regions. Now, these were originally, I think, just shaded cells um, in the original one, but I've changed it to shaded and caged because um, it is kind of the way that we display them now. So I've tried to update some of the cosmetics um, to be uh, done um, more familiar with what we do now. And again, the trend is continuing. This has F4 in it because this is the fourth variant puzzle. I don't know why they're using F. Maybe someone can tell me. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So can I do anything with normal Sudoku? I can see two is in one of those two. It's got to be something to do with this. Like where is four in this region? Four has to be in one of those two cells. Do I want to start pencil marking based on region? Like four, six, and nine. Six is in one of those. Eight is in one of those. So four, six, nine, and eight can't go in those. Four is in, it's very tempting to just pencil mark this whole region. Like six is in one of those and it can't be in one of those. So six is actually in this region, six is right here. Six can't go here, six can't go here and six can't go here. So this is a six, which is going to restrict this one some more because six can't go in any of those. So in this region, six is in one of those two. It's very tempting to just pencil mark. So where is six in this box now? Six is in one of those two. So in this box, six is in one of these three. So eight is in one of those three, and it can't be here. So eight is in one of these two, because eight can't go here, and eight can't go in any of those because of this eight. So eight is in one of those two in this extra region. So now eight can't go in any of those or any of those, and that becomes an eight. Okay, but we still have eight in one of these two by Sudoku, and that eight says not there, and this becomes an eight. Haha, <laughs> we're making progress. At least I feel like making progress. Am I? I don't know. <laughs> um, so what else do we need to place? We still need to place four in this region, and it's in one of those two. We need to place six in this region, and it's not in either of those or any of those. Yeah, I've already looked at that. One in this region is not in any of those. Right, one in this region is not in any of those. So this is the one, which means this is the eight. Now, three is not in any of those or there. So this is the three. Right. So this is actually seeing a lot of digits. It's very tempting to pencil mark all five of these digits. So, uh, those two digits have to be, these four digits have to appear in this region somewhere and they're those. So three has to appear in those four digits because these four, let's, okay, I'm gonna go through basics here. Though that column contains all of the digits from one to nine and this region contains all of the digits from one to nine. So where do those four cells appear in yellow? They can't repeat in green, they can't be those. So these are those four, but this three 
has to appear in this column somewhere and it can't go here. So this becomes the three. And I've got the one, six, and three now, which means that these two, uh, no, I didn't mean to remove that. I meant to remove the color. These two are the same digit. So I'm actually going to change that to yellow. These are the same digit. What can they be? It can't be one, three. It could be, two, no, it can't be one, two, three. It could be four. It can't be five. It can't be six. It can't be seven. It can't be eight. And it can't be nine. That's four. There you go. That was a naked single. And these are now known. That's a quadruple. Five has to go in one of those three. I am going to mark that, which puts five in one of those two. Maybe I don't need to mark the fives. Um, two can't go here. So two and five are in here. Actually, I am going to mark this because two, three, four, five, two, five, seven, and nine. So this has to be from seven or nine. Oh, it can't be seven in there. So this is a seven and this is two, five, nine. There you go. And these are one and six. Excellent. Six is down here somewhere. That's, I, I like that. Now there's no nine there. Wait, 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 wait. It's not two, eight, nine. What am I doing? It's not two, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, five, nine is what it is. And there's no nine there. Why did I say eight? What was wrong with me? So one, four still needs to go in one of the, ah, where's four in this now? Because four can't go in those, four can't go there and four can't go there. So this is the four. So one in this column is definitely in one of those. Three is the same. And these four digits are these four digits. So those two digits there, are those two digits there, but, and these are one, two, five, seven, and nine. So the seven must be in one of those. Yeah, I don't think, so I can't put seven in any of those, but if I put seven in one of those two, I could put, oh no, where is seven in this column? Because I can't put seven there or there. So seven cannot go in yellow or it'd have to go in one of those two. I can't put seven there. This is the seven. That made highlighting yellow very useful. And these are two, five, nine. So these are from two, five, nine. Now that one can't be a two or a nine. So that's a five. So there's a five in one of those two and that's not a five. Coloring those really did help me. So, four is in one of those. S oh, that's just a seven, because I can't put seven in any of those or in yellow. So that's a seven, which puts seven in one of those two, but that seven says not there, so that's a seven. Uh, what have I got left on sevens? Seven is in one of those two and seven is in one of those two, leaving me with an X-wing on sevens. What's the next digit to look at? I've got a lot of eights. Eight is in one, ah, where's eight in box six? Can't go in any of those and I can't repeat eight in the region. That's an eight, which puts eight in one of those two and eight in one of those two, leaving me with an X-wing on eights. So this is seeing a lot of digits. It sees one, two, three, four, five. It can be six, it can't be seven, eight. It's six or nine only. This isn't a five. The five is in here from this. So this is two or nine. In here, I need to put one, I need to put three, I need to put six. So where's six in this column? I can't put six here because I can't put six here. I can't put six here. I can't put six in any of those and neither of those are six. That's a six, which makes this a nine. Nice. This is a triple and I'm just gonna mark it. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are one, three, four. There's no three there. There's no four there. 
There's no four there. That's a four. This is a one, three pair. Okay. So this is a six. So I need to put a three in here, but it could go in either of those, I think. I don't think much. So these are one, two, five. There's no one or two there. That's a five and I can take five out of those. And then the one makes that the two and that the one. The two looks across making that the five and I take five out of there. This is a two nine. Okay. The two takes two out of there, but I could still put two there. So it doesn't resolve this. Four, ah, where's four in this box now? Four looking down, four looking across. That there is a four. And these are five, six, and nine. And there's no nine there, and there's no five there. That's the six. So this is a five, nine pair. The six is looking across, making that the one, and that the six. So I need to put a one in one of those two. But but one has to go in this cage somewhere, and therefore it has to go in one of those two. So yeah, where's one in this cage? It can't go there. It can't go there. This is a known digit, in fact. One, two, that's a three. But where's the one in this cage? The only place I can put one in the cage is there. So that's a one. This is not a nine and never has been because of that. It's really easy to miss given digits. So this is two or five, and the two is looking at making that the five. So this is the two, this is the five. And that, remember these had to be the same, so that is the two. This is the, there's a digit that hasn't been placed in the region yet, that's the nine, and I can get rid of all of the coloring. The two looks across making that the nine and that the two. The five makes that the nine. Yeah, nice puzzle. Haven't finished it yet, but I'm enjoying what I've done. Okay, uh, where do I want to look next? Can I resolve the one, three? No, let's look at this triple. One, six, eight. So there's no six there. There's no one or eight there. That's the six. So I can take six out of there. The one looks down, making that the eight and that the one, which makes that the three and that the one. This box is just missing a single digit, which seems to be a three. There's no eight there. These are two and six, and the six is looking down, making that the two and that the six. Uh, these are two and five, and the two is looking across, making that the five and that the two. This is a triple, which is four, seven, and nine. There's no four or nine there, so that's the seven, and I can take the seven out of those, and four, nine will come eventually. Uh, let's look at the top of this column. One, two, three, and nine go in, and I've got a three. So that becomes the nine and the three. The nine looks back, making that the four and the nine. These are two and five, and the two is making that the five and that the two. Um, these, are, well, where do I put eight in this box? By pencil marks, it made that eight ages ago, and I have yet to put a nine in that box. So now I'm just down to a single box, which should be resolvable. I need to put a one in. Um, the ones looking into the box mean this is the one. Uh, let's actually jump to the column because I think it'll be faster. Uh, these are three and four. The three is looking across, making that the four and that the three. So these are five, six, and seven. There's a five, six already in the top row. So I put in the seven. So I just changed this to a five, six to make it easier to follow. The five looks across making that the six, that the six, and that the five. And that is my time. That was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, extra regions. Uh, what was my time? 12 minutes exactly for a 40 point puzzle. Um, so yeah, what was it? F World champion solvers would be trying to get about 10 points a minute. So they'd be trying to do it in about four minutes. Um, to be really fast, you'd be trying to do about 10 points a minute. So you'd be trying to, sorry, five, ten, no, five points a minute. So eight minutes, I took 12. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't consider myself a speed solver and I would never want to compete because the minute I was trying to compete, my anxiety would go off the chart and all I would do is taste adrenaline and everything. I, I'd stop thinking. Um, I just, yeah, I don't find it entertaining to, to do that sort of stuff. But doing this is fun and hopefully you're enjoying them too. And if you're new to this, then, you know, hopefully these videos are good. I've actually had a few people, um, I mean, I'm recording this like, 
two months before I'll release it. But I've had a few people um, who've seen the first series that I released, so round three, um, who've watched the videos and said, um, who are real life friends or, or people I um, who are new to the community have reached out via Discord um, or some of my work colleagues um, and said that they've really been enjoying the videos and that they they've just started so um, and they found these videos and these puzzles really good and I know what they're talking about because I used some of these puzzles from 2019 um, when I started and it was a lot of fun. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.